Today's first game is the biggest domestic game of this season so far. We're six points clear of second placed Manchester City. We face Manchester City in the first game at home. Win this, we're nine points clear at the top of the table with just 12 games to go. Will be one hell of a tough ask for City to try and overturn that. We also have Wolves today. And I expect the next round of the FA Cup to be drawn at some point in February as well. We'll be simulating all Europa League games, as mentioned in yesterday's episode, outside of the final should we get there. We're going to concentrate on winning the Premier League now. And actually, what I'm leaning towards doing, because there's been quite a call to get the Cambridge United RTG started as soon as possible. What I might do is still do the Season 8 with simming domestic games, playing European games, but I do it on Twitch. So there would be a season eight, but that season eight would be on Twitch. And here on the YouTube channel, the Cambridge United RTD would begin as soon as this Leeds United season seven is finished. Let me know what you think of that idea in the comments section down below. Uh, we shall crack on though. Tournament prize money. That means that the FA Cup has been drawn. We'll have a quick look and see who we've got. Oh, it's not until March. Okay, not until March. So we have Bradford in the round of 16 of the FA Cup, in which case I'll play City today, I'll play Wolves today, we'll sim both Porto games, and I'll play the Carabao Cup final in today's episode as well then, on March the 1st. Let's start with a very important game then, or episode with regards to domestic fixtures then. Let's see if we can extend our lead at the top over Manchester City. We're prepared, but... Being prepared is one thing. Knowing what you need to do and actually doing what you need to do are separate things. I know what I need to do, but a lot of the time I don't actually do what I want to do. We shall wait and see how this one goes. That's the starting lineup as ever. Moving into this game against Manchester City, the biggest game of the Premier League so far this season. Man City's starting 11 today. Edison in goal. Pedro Porro, Issa Diop, Koulibaly and Angelino. Nicola Dominguez, Rodri and Awa as a midfield three. Bernardo Silva, Lukaku and Leroy Sané as the uh, front three. They've Julian Brandt on the bench, Kingsley Coman, Rodrigo. All players that could have an impact. We know what we need to do. At the very least, it's a do not lose. But for rather obvious reasons, I'd really love to win this game. Lassia forward to San Maxima. Roberts forward in there to Renato Sanchez and out wide here to Jaden Sancho. There's Tyler Roberts. Marlon, can he get to that first? Oh no, Edison comes up and claims well at his feet bravely because Marlon definitely had his studs showing there. That's poor from Calvin Phillips to nod that straight to the City man. We have the best home record in the league as you can see top left. 11 wins from our 13 home games so far. With just one draw and one defeat. However, City have the best away record in the league. With 11 wins in 12 games and one draw. They're undefeated away from home so far. We could make their record match our current record if we beat them in this game. Obviously, our home record would then extend with 12 wins in 14 as opposed to 11 in 13. But that's the way round I'd like things to go. We shall try and see that through. Hakimi forward to Tyler Roberts. Marlon's on the run. The Koulibaly is so incredibly strong. I see the man at the back post. Please, Sam Maximan. Yes! A crashing finish into the back of the net. Beautiful ball across. And we're in front in this enormous tie for the outcome of the Premier League title. Just as soon as I saw Sam Maximan getting away from the man on the far side, I knew that was my best option to try and score the goal and he couldn't have hit that better he had a similar situation in a previous game where he used his left foot blazed it right into the stands that's what's possible when you use your stronger foot Allah do that more often one nil leads oh well with a driven ball out wide to Bernardo Silva Nicolas Dominguez into Silva again I'm sure that was a Malassia tackle or a pass from Bernardo that led that coming back to Pedro Porra but they've worked this beautifully just held off with taking control over Ben White because I trusted that the keeper would get there. 
Wasn't the best of throws from the keeper, to be fair there, but never mind. Hakimi into Marlon. Through looking for Jaden Sancho now. Angelino's quick. We'll try and work this back. It's a nice little back heel. Renato's touch took him away from goal. But Alan has some space over here. He used his left foot again. Stop it, mate. You've got the space. You're right-footed. Use your right peg. You literally just scored a goal with it. Moron. Hakimi pushing forward from right back. That was meant for Calvin Phillips. We'll end up with, with Calvin Phillips. Not exactly how I intended it to do so. Jaden Sancho. But footwork, maybe. Inside, looking for the runner, Tyler Roberts. Oh, it just won't quite fall for me. Looking for that second goal. 15 minutes to go till half-time. City have been good in possession, but they haven't created anything yet. Although that might change here with Bernardo Silva being played in down the line. Waiting for the inevitable City fight back. But so far, we've been able to keep them at bay. And that continues to be the case. I mean, not being very complimentary about the way Manchester City have been playing so far in this game. Just gave him, or just gave them, sorry, a 6 out of 10 there, Lee Dixon. Renato, I'll drop the shoulder. I don't want to get into a physical encounter with Koulibaly because he's going to outmuscle me, let's be honest. Into Tyler Roberts. He's spun the defender well. Marlon is there. Can I find him? Yes, can we get the shot off? Trying. Oh, Edison does just enough. Just enough. Let's whip the ball in. Renato Sanchez delivers towards the middle. Oh, Militao won it well, but didn't aim it very well. Hakimi. I'll tell you what, Renato's offered a good option there. And I do have the further option of going out to Jaden Sancho. Now look for Tyler Roberts with a whip towards the middle. It's well blocked by Angelino, but we'll have a corner to try and get this second goal. They're making a change. Lukaku off and Rodrigo on. Rodrigo on. He scored against us with a headed goal in the Community Shield last season. But we still ran out winners in that tie. Sancho to Ben White here. Not got many options. I'm going to have to go backwards. But... I'd rather go backwards and keep the ball than try and force a pass forwards and lose possession. Should have turned the other way. Should have turned the other way. An hour into the game now. Still awaiting a real City clear-cut chance. Maybe with Rodrigo on the field they'll be able to do that now. We'll wait and see how things go. But so far, they've been very underwhelming, Manchester City. I've given that straight to Bernardo Silva there with the attempted one-two. Domingos finds Rodrigo and he'll work it back to Porro. And this looks dangerous from City. Until Malasia steps in. Superb work. And just get it forward. We turn the defender. He completely missed the ball, unfortunately. Marlon. And if that cost me a goal, I'd be annoyed. And I'm annoyed. I pass the ball to Donia Marlon. The ball was right there at his feet. And he just missed it. And from that, City have gone immediately up the other end. And scored. One ball forward. Two balls forward. Three balls forward. First time shot goal. Balls. Dominguez, Porro, City really getting adventurous now. If they go go on to win this game, I'll be really severely annoyed. Rodrigo, Dominguez, Rodrigo again. Militao's been drawn out of position here. I hope he's not needed in the middle with a cross in a moment. There isn't really anyone in there at the present moment. They're going to work it on the floor instead. Here's Rodrigo. He's changed the game for them with that goal. Hakimi under pressure from Leroy Sané, but we're able to work it away comfortably enough. Now to get it out of his feet and forward there to Jaden Sancho. Roberts, Marlon, Sancho's kept the run going and he's found beautifully. His touch is good. Angelino's with me though. Oh, and I can't get the turn I wanted to try and spin inside. I'm making a change now. Tyler Roberts is going off and Jared Bowen is coming on. We shall try and get ourselves a goal to go back in front. Renato, I'm going to be patient here. I meant to pass that to Calvin Phillips and it for some reason went to Bowen. Marlon, out of your feet. Oh, is that a foul? No, Koulibaly strong in the challenge and legally done so, apparently. Bernardo with a big switch here looking for Leroy Sané. We counter on the opposition quite a lot with this team. But City are trying to do the same to me here. Hakimi driving in behind. He's got more stamina left than Sané, so should be able to get away and stay away. And arriving here is Jaden Sancho. It's going to fall free, and that is the luckiest goal that may well win us at the end of the season, the Premier League. Sancho's shot bobbles free, and who's there to sweep home? The substitute who's been scoring a lot of goals recently, Jared Bowen. Sancho, good touch, the shot well blocked, and I couldn't have asked for a kind of deflection. Right to the feet of Jared Bowen, who's just put everything behind it with his weak foot. No point trying to be accurate, just smash it, lad. 2-1 leads 
in the 84th minute that could seal the Premier League title for us, even at the beginning of February. Angelina running around the outside. Rodrigo wins that header. Dominguez with a fancy flick. Sani into the middle, who's offside. And that should see us through. They were building that well, City, and they had runners all around. But losing possession there is going to see time trickle down. And we will go nine points clear at the top of the Premier League table. That's huge for us. A very close game with minimal chances. Thankfully, that one bit of luck went our way. And the ball fell right to the feet of Jared Bowen, who made no mistake. A win in the Premier League. Three points against our main title rivals. Malash has been so good. So I'm really pleased that we decided not to replace him at left back because he's just continued to go from strength to strength. Thank you for offering him as a suggestion. He's been wonderful. One of the best wing backs I've had in any save ever. So Porto next then. We will simulate those two games as I say. And then once we get there I'll show you the simulated results as we go through them. I think the Wolves game is between leg one and leg two, is it not? Or is it after both legs? Yeah, it's between the legs. So let's head now after this international break to the first game against Porto. See if we can't get a good away leg lead. Right then, Porto away. Rather understandably using my rotation 11 to concentrate on the Premier League with my full strength team. Porto are actually a pretty capable side, but we've gotten a good early 1-0 lead through Shackleton. They certainly would have been easier draws for us at this round of 32 stage. Tyler Wright adds a second though, and we do look like we're going to get a very strong first leg lead here with a third going in from Jamie Shackleton just after half time and a hat trick for young Jamie in that cam roll. We're certainly going through to the round of 16 of the Europa League. Thank you very much Porto for that 4-0 first leg lead. Don't worry Jaden, you've literally been dropped out of the team for one game. You're going to be back in it for this one against Wolves. I don't know who City have got at this moment in time for this particular match day. Malasia in pretty good form. You are certainly going to play, my man. Right. Boop. Who have City got out of curiosity? Who have they got on this match day? Because if City can drop more points, that'd be great. They've got West Ham at home. That'd be simple enough for them. Simple enough. I expect them to win that, but I expect us to win this. Wolves 11. Valdivia in goal. Five at the back. Doherty, Pieri, Mull, Hernandez and Johnny. Sapreet so Singh and Jorge Carascal in the middle with Dennis Mann. Pedro Neto leading the line for Wolves now. I did wonder how long it would take for him to find first team football. Certainly a player that grows really well. Certainly a player I'd be keen on perhaps signing at Cambridge United in the RTG at some point. But for the time being, he's starting here for Wolves against us in Season 7. That's a lovely ball over the top. But unfortunately, the man who was on the end of it was offside. Free kick for Wolves in the 5th. Minutes, Carascal will deliver, and it's a decent delivery too. And there's Giles at the back post. We did concede a goal in similar fashion against someone earlier on this season, although it was a header. I can't remember who it was against, actually. Thankfully, I don't think it cost us the result, but they very nearly replicated that there, Wolves. Brilliant move from the training ground, the man peeling off the back post. That's so difficult to deal with as the user because you can't really see what's going on. So the ball gets whipped at such pace, the camera can't keep up. Thankfully, it didn't need to on that occasion because regardless of what I did, the man up top missed the uh, effort anyway. Tyler Roberts with a good turn. There's Renato Santos. Keep that going. But for San Maxi Man, an early effort hits Pieri. And away they clear it. Malassi will win this, so comfortably down. Oh, but Renato Santos has run past it. Never mind, he's won it back again. Good lad. Well played. Roberts around the corner to Sancho. Oh, looking for Roberts again, but given away. This is quite a competitive game against Wolves so far. I'll have that. Thank you. Ben White does really well. Roberts around me. Marlon looking to get in behind. Trying to show some strength here. Those five defenders are really going to be difficult to get past. But Marlon could perhaps... Oh, bend it from the edge of the box. And he's done that beautifully. I thought it was going wide initially. But it's hit the right-hand post with a real thud. And gone across goal into the side netting the far side. Whether it was fortunate from Daniel Marlon or... That good a finish that he was that super accurate, I'm not sure. The keeper looked like he was pretty close to it. We'll have a look from the replay. Sets it out on that right foot, then looks to bend it. And I think it's probably lucky, but the keeper was nowhere near it. We'll take it. Any goals, however they come, 
like that Bowen one. His 10th league goal of the league season, Daniel Marlon, certainly filling in for Erling Braut Orland very well indeed. We have a two, sorry, a one goal lead. Nice interception by Renato. Missed the first challenge, but the second one was good enough. Oh, no. Marlon was slow on the uptake there. I should have used Tyler Roberts with the through ball. Now I might be in trouble. No, Militao stepped in nicely. Or getting a, a bit ping-pongy at the minute. A bit pinball-y. Bouncing from side to side on the field. Phillips has turned well. Oh, and as has Marlon. But he can't accelerate away from the defender. Pierre has done brilliantly to get that off, Doniel. Not the best of clearances, though. Again. And Molassi will get that forward to Phillips. They need to be better in the turnover of possession walls because they, they're doing well to win it off me. But then they keep giving it straight back to me. Valdivia with a good save there to deny me a second goal. And it looks like it will be just the one at half-time. But it could be 1-1. One, one. Here they come on the counter-attack now. Militao misses the challenge. Here's Pedro Neto. He does have options and someone's arriving late. That should be the keeper's ball, though. He could have caught that quite comfortably. We could still be in trouble. Hakimi does well enough, but... It's going to be a corner for Wolves, and we are past the allotted stoppage time at the end of the first half. This would be pretty controversial if they score now, and they still could, but they haven't. He's hit that wide. Oh, no, it's another corner. It took a deflection. Carrascal to deliver. Oh, that's poor too. Tyler Roberts diving in. One of you's going to have to get there, lads. Carrascal. Oh, he's offside. Thank the Lord for that. Well, in the 51st minute of the first half... Will end the 45. Back to Pieri. That's a centre back that's pushed forward though to fill the gap of a right wing back who pushed forward. Renato turns well, looking for Marlon who's on side, I believe. We'll find out in a moment. I believe that's two. And it is Daniel Marlon with his second of the game. And we have a little bit of daylight now. A bit of cushion to lean on in this game against Wolves. But it's because they pulled their defence well out of shape. It's their defensive mistake that's led to our 2 0 lead. Renato to Calvin Phillips. It's rather unusual for us to have even more than 50% possession against the AI, let alone 58%. Pushing the 60s, very rare that we're this dominant in possession. We have been pretty dominant in the game. We're pretty dominant. I feel like we're pretty dominant in most games, but it doesn't necessarily always reflect itself in the possession stats. On this occasion, it is. Sanchez will go back inside there to Roberts. We'll play that around the corner to Marlon. Renato's there again. He's actually going to be pushed forward into a cam roll soon because Tyler Roberts is going to be substituted off. We'll try and play Tyler around the corner here. He's just running low on stamina at the minute and could do with a little bit of respite. Renato, Calvin, Tyler... Working about as patiently as possible. I think Daniel Marlon was offside there. No, play continues. Oh, and he nearly kicked that straight against the feet of Daniel Marlon. But Giles has been played in down the left here. And now we're in trouble going the other way. Can he find a teammate? He's got plenty to aim for. Malassia flicks that away, but only as far as another man wearing gold. Tocati brings it down. Keeps it in play just. Sapreet Singh. Calvin Phillips wins it back. And now the counter-attack is on again. I wanted to... Um, no, given away. I wanted to give Tyler Roberts a considerable rest, but the ball has just stayed in play forever here. Chelsea have just gone 2-1 up against Southampton. Tammy Abraham getting the goal there. It's the scoreline in this game going to read 2-1 before too long. Pedro Neto turns well and does score. Yes, it is going to be 2-1 in this game. Not over yet. Going to be a nervy final 10 minutes. Into Adams. Renato Sanchez across to Calvin Phillips. Forward there to Daniel Marlon. Around the corner, but not quite able to find it. Calvin Phillips forward there to Tyler Adams. Renato, why not just have a pop from the edge of the box? Flown into the stand is where it's gone. I really should have been better in possession there and managed the time better towards the end of the game. If they, know, they now go up the other end and score an equaliser, then I've got nobody to look at other than myself for wasting possession there. And Giles has been played in behind here and they genuinely might get that equaliser now. Delivered in. Punched clear by Engel. Could Malassia, not Malassia, Sam Maximan get to that? He could, but Sapreet Singh runs off with it. And he's got the option here. And if it was a better connection, they would have equalised with the last kick of the game. We get our 2-1 win, but I might find myself or count myself lucky to actually have come away with it in the end. Wolves with a real late fight back, but not quite able to do it. City did beat West Ham, so they'll stay close 
to us with the gap remaining nine points. Marlon was superb again. Time to head now towards the second leg against Porto. We're 18 games unbeaten in the Premier League now. And then after that second game against Porto, it'll be time for the Carabao Cup final against Chelsea. Malassia is happy to be playing and I'm delighted that he is continuing to play so very well. Right then, second leg against Porto. I mean, when you win the first leg 4-0, you really shouldn't go out. Although we won the first leg against Liverpool 4-0 in the Carabao Cup semi-finals and nearly went out because they pulled it back with a 3-0 win in the uh, second leg, didn't they? Yellow cards only. There's Weston McKennie with the first goal. Porto need five to go through on away goals and draw it level on aggregate now. And they've only 30 minutes to do that now. They need six. Yeah, we're through to the round of 16. Tellez has pulled one back. Is the comeback on? No, it's not. Sorry, Porto, you are out. We're through in the Carabao... Not in the Carabao Cup. Well, we are through in the Carabao Cup, and it's the final next. But we're through in the Europa League. The next round, I believe, has been drawn already, if that prize money's been awarded. Oh, and we have Chelsea. Which means that Chelsea game in the, in the league has been postponed. We've Chelsea in the Carabao Cup final, and now we've Chelsea in the Europa League as well. Although that will be, or they will be, simulated games, of course. Right then, one final quick train before the trip down south to Wembley. I will see you in the capital for the Carabao Cup final. Let's go and win ourselves a trophy. Chelsea's 11, Kepa, James, Berda, Hoot, Rodrigo, Savic, Bentancur, Rafinha, Emerson, Dybala, Abraham. I'm not sure Rodrigo being played at left back and Emerson further forward on the left hand side of midfield. I'm pretty sure they should be the other way around. Questionable from Chelsea. Questionable. Occasionally, Chelsea's eleven has had that, hasn't it? We've played them before when they've had exactly the right eleven. And we've played them before with Emerson at centre mid, Milenkovic Savic at left back. They certainly seem to be bugged slightly in that they don't really choose their left back properly. Oh well, they've still got the attacking talent, so they're going to be a problem going one way. Hopefully, will be the problem. The main problem going the other way, though. Sancho into Sanchez. Forward to Marlon. Oh, but well tackled by Burda. Right, forward to Hakimi. Phillips played in. Rumours that Willian is going to be retiring. Oh, Benton Core's got an interception there. And we need to concentrate on things that are happening on the field rather than things that are potentially going to be happening off it. Nice little one-two. Tammy with the ability to cross, but not able to do it properly. I didn't ask for that clearance, Ben. I was quite happy to take control there and just run off with it. Rodrigo into Tammy Abraham, back out to Emerson. Early ball in. Oh, well, I'd say away by Phillips, but it cannons off. Milinkovic Savic. That's swollen for Tammy, and Engel has to make the save to deny Chelsea a 1-0 lead in this cup final. Frank Lampard on the touchline as ever for Chelsea. I certainly hope in real life that Frank Lampard is still the manager for Chelsea in real life at this stage of the calendar, so to speak. But they've hit the woodwork now, and Chelsea really are proving to be quite difficult to deal with going one way. Hopefully they're easier to deal with going the other way. Oh, but Reece James has cut that out very nicely indeed. Hakimi. Emerson picks his pocket as he's trying to play it down the line. Back to Rodrigo. Oh, Hakimi just runs into him. Here's Emerson again. Just rolls it back to Rodrigo. They're getting a bit fancy here, Chelsea. Don't start showing off too soon. It is still nil-nil. Don't get too carried away, lads. Emerson into Rodrigo. Back to Emerson again. We did lose the Carabao Cup final last year rather heavily to a London team, of course. It was 4-0 to Arsenal in the end. Dybala finds Reese James here, who squares up. Finds the teammate in Bentancur, but Malassi is in the way. It falls back to Bentancur, and Reese James gives Chelsea a 1-0 lead. We got lucky with the way the ball deflected back to me against Manchester City. Chelsea have had that same level of luck here. Only this time, it's in a cup final. James inside to Bentancur. It hits Malassia, and then he just lays it back. And Reese James tucks it home. 
fortunate for Chelsea, but overall, I can't say that it's undeserved. They have been the better team. Let's not lose the Carabao Cup final in back-to-back -back years, shall we, lads? Renato with the big switch. Lassi down the line into San Maxima. Back there nicely to Phillips. Turns well. Finds Renato. Down the line into Daniel Marlon. Trying to get away. Spins it, but can't find a teammate. Short to Milinkovic Savic and in here to Tammy Abraham. Here's Dybala. Out wide to Reese James. Sam Maximan is struggling for stamina now, having been used as a substitute in the second leg against Porto. Daniel Marlon was also a little bit tired heading into the game. Might need to make changes early on in the second half to ensure that we have the opportunity to win this game still. Renato gets a good block on that. And Chelsea still pushing for a second goal. I haven't yet had a chance on goal, I don't think. I'm really struggling in this one. It seems to be that the Carabao Cup final is destined to perhaps elude us again. I'd be devastated if it is. Malinkovic Savic pushing his way through and they very nearly got another lucky deflection there, Chelsea. We will go in at half-time, 1-0 down, and count ourselves lucky that the gap is only that small. No shot at all for me in that first half. The Samax man is dead. <sighs> right, Tyler Roberts can go out wide. Actually, no. Marlon can go out wide and Tyler Roberts can... No, yeah, Roberts can go out wide. Come on, Tess. Let's crack on. Let's get ourselves a, an equaliser at least and take it to extra time or, if preferably, find two and get the win outright inside 90 minutes. I am going to have to shoot to do that. Jackleton turns well. Phillips again. Renato out wide here to Jaden Sancho. I've got options in the middle. I see Renato. That's who the ball was aimed for and it's who the ball was destined to find. If it weren't for the interception from the defender, Renato will deliver the corner himself. It's flicked away by Tammy Abraham. Can we get to that first? Yes, just. Renato picks up the loose ball. Ben White. Here's Malassia. He's got good footwork, but not good enough to get past the Chelsea man. Ben White intercepts that. Malassia involved again. Shackleton on. What on earth was that, Jamie? Still yet to have a shot in this second half. Still yet to find a way back into the game. Lips wins that back well. Inside to Renato. Drive forward. Run for me, Jamie. Marlon. Nice footwork. I'll go to Jamie Southcottle. We'll turn. Get it back. Donia Marlon. Save. Oh, and it won't fall for me the way it fell for them. Our first shot of the game very nearly gives us a 1-0 lead. Deflects back to Marlon, who can't get... Oh, strength from Rafinha. Who can't get his second shot away because Wesley Hoop was just stood there and flicked the header away. Tammy Abraham's given that to Renato. Come on now. Let's use that as motivation to drive forward and continue to create chances in this game. Renato Sanchez is outside of Jamie Shackleton here. It's gone to Tyler Roberts, though. What I wanted to do with it. Jamie's short here. Doniel through that gap. Drops the shoulder on the defender. Oh, he squeezed at home. Needed again to use the post to get it to go in. But Doniel Marlin's left foot. Accurate enough on this occasion. We do have our equaliser at Wembley. Sending the Leeds fans into raptures. Drop of the shoulder from him here was pretty good. The defender overcommitted thinking he was going to turn onto his right. He spun back the other way. And again, very accurately found the corner. In off the inside of the post, not quite as much of a slice of it on this occasion. But Kepa can only watch as the ball flies past him into the back of the net. And we're back level. Benton court. Side to Dybala. Across to Sergei Milinkovic-Savic. We've already done more in this cup final in the Carabao Cup than we did last season. Can we go even further and grab a second goal? Shackleton. Marlon is moving for me, but I have to use Tyler Roberts here. Shackleton could go again. Oh, and he has, but Reese James read it and turned well, but he's given it straight back to Jamie Shackleton. He's given it straight back to Chelsea with an unnecessary little back heel. Rafinha is on the driving run down the right-hand side here. We'll go back there to James, who's turned inside nicely. And here's Ben Tancor. There's not long left in this game now. Good foot in 
by Calvin Phillips, but the ball won't fall free for us. Rafinha back inside to Ben Tan Court. I want to draw Calvin Phillips too far out of position because of those runs from midfield. That's exactly why. Did well to get something on it there, Calvin, but still Chelsea come forward and still Reese James could cause us more problems. Ben Tan Court has the option to play the ball through there to the man in the middle. It's Milinkovic Savic. Emerson to Savic. Oh, Renato does intercept but can't get the ball away. And Ben Tan Court will find Tammy. Tammy. Out here to Rafinha. Left footed as far as I can remember. Rafinha into the middle. Away by Ben White. Corner for Chelsea. Six minutes to go. And breathe. A change coming on for Chelsea. Rodrigo will deliver the corner. It's Arkadisha Milik on for Dybala. He's involved immediately and wins a secondary corner for them. Rodrigo will deliver again. And away please Hakimi. Well up. Burda behind it. Flicks it into the middle. Emerson. Renato Sanchez brings it down. Oh, sorry, it wasn't Renato. Renato Sanchez is there out wide. Here's Jamie Shackleton. Now, we did win a cup final last season in extra time. I'm pretty sure it was the cup final, wasn't it? Or may maybe it was the semi-final. 118th or 19th minute from Renato Sanchez. Got us victory in that game. And Marlon's turned brilliantly and we might be about to win at Wembley again and we are in the 92nd minute. Daniel Marlon has won the Carabao Cup for Leeds United and actually I think it was at Wembley in the FA Cup wasn't it where Renato Sanchez won us the game in extra time. We love a late goal in a cup final don't we? This time inside 90 minutes again a brilliant turn from Marlon to send the defender and it might well be the same defender Berda who's been spun again. This time he went the other way. And he's buried it. We're going to win the Carabao Cup. After embarrassment last year in the final against Arsenal by four goals to nil with practically the last kick of the game. I apologise, Chelsea, for large portions of that game. You were the better side. But what a turnaround in the second half. Daniel Marlon with a brace after Rhys James had given them the lead in the first 45. A first half where we had no chances on goal whatsoever. And we've turned it around and will lift the Carabao Cup. Another trophy added to the cabinet. A trophy we haven't won before. We've now won the Community Shield. We've won the UEFA Super Cup. We've won the Europa League. We've won the FA Cup. Just the league and the Champions League left. The league should be done this season. The Champions League should be done in a Champions League only season 8. Probably on Twitch. As opposed to here on the YouTube channel due to the feedback in the comments. I'll still do it, but you'll have to watch it somewhere else. Let's get going. What a performance in that second half to turn it around. And Tyler Roberts lifts a Leeds United trophy. I'm really pleased that in this starting lineup, we still have Ben White. We still have Stefan Engel, who's been with us since season one in fact, to uh, add into this. We still have Tyler Roberts. We still have Calvin Phillips all in the starting lineup still that have been there since season one. Engel wasn't in the first team picture at that moment in time, with Kiko Casilla being my number one goalkeeper. But to have had those players be with us all the way through the series and be picking up trophies now towards the latter stages of this save, I'm really pleased to have kept the core of the team throughout this save. Calvin Phillips has been in and out. He's been in and out. Celebrate then back to the drawing board. Such determination and force to turn it around in that second half. Sanchez is continuing his hot run of form, but let's not get carried away. That was a tough performance, but with two goals for Daniel Marlin, it was an impressive performance from him yet again. Orlan was three weeks away from full fitness last time I checked. Three weeks away from full fitness and... Uh, that remains the case. And Mateus Cunha is six weeks away. So still no sign of either of those returning. Tomorrow, we will have Bradford, Forest, Watford and two games against Chelsea in the Europa League to be played. Probably sim that against Bradford, play that against Forest, play that against Watford and then play the next round of the FA Cup, which will probably be here or here. And that Watford game will be moved. We shall wait and see. But for now, for today... Thank you very much for watching. Do continue to show your support with a thumbs up on the video. Make sure you subscribe with the notification bell ticks. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Links down below. And I will see you tomorrow.